what are the Dallas Cowboys doing? Because it really doesn't make too much sense. Now, there is probably some rational reason inside of Jerry Jones' head of this offseason because this offseason has been really, really confusing for the Cowboys. We're going to talk about the Cowboys offseason, see what they can do this year, and talk about the Cowboys as a whole. Let's just recap their 2023 season. They went 12-5. and They won the division. They had a really good season defensively. Amazing, obviously, Deron Bland had an incredible year. Michael Parsons doing his thing. You had Dak Prescott playing on an MVP caliber level. C.D. Lamb was doing everything. I mean, this was a really good team, and it ultimately fell short to the Packers. I guess fell short. It wasn't a close game. The Packers absolutely dominated them. But it, this felt like a really good season for the Cowboys, where I think they could have possibly gone all the way, but the Packers definitely handled them. But unfortunate end to the season for the Cowboys. Um, obviously, I know many people probably loved it. Um, and I mean, I did too, I won't lie. So let's go ahead and talk about their off season and talk about here what they can do in this next season and why I think this has been all confusing. Now, the reason why I think this has been a very confusing off season is because they have not spent any money, obviously a little bit, but not much. You know, you look at free agency, they bring back um, Ezekiel Elliott and they also bring in Eric Kendricks. Now, at face value, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, Zeke, they let him go last year. He plays for the Patriots, doesn't have a crazy season. It was solid. It wasn't great, but it was cool. Now, I mean, you're putting Ezekiel Elliott back in that kind of prime rotate, you know, that number one guy, which I was like, I don't know if he just has that anymore. Now, he could definitely be a solid number two guy, but probably not the primary starting running back that you do want Eric Hendricks, nice middle linebacker veteran. And... At face value, that does not make a ton of sense until you realize that, yeah, they have to pay Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, and Micah Parsons very, very soon, which is a whole problem in itself. Um, but it's a good problem to have because those are re three really good players that you have all on their team and that, I mean, they, you all drafted them. There was no trades. There was no signings. So it's a good problem to have, uh, but definitely there's definitely a lot to it. Uh, CeeDee Lamb and Micah Parsons are a little bit more straightforward in the sense of, they're going to break records for their respective position. You know, they see the lamb was able to hold out long enough to where he got the con where he's going to get the contract after Justin Jefferson. So he's going to want to push Justin Jefferson's contract, which we, we got. So I expect that contract to be the same, if not the same, a little bit more than what Justin Jefferson got. And if it's less then the Cowboys absolutely did what they needed to do there. Mike Parsons probably won't, it's probably not going to come this year, uh, but next year, next off season, is where you probably see the contract come in. And again, he will set records at the outside linebacker, edge rusher kind of position there. Definitely will set records. But the Dak Prescott one is so interesting because, yeah, you his contract just ends this year, but you can't franchise tag him. So there's no safety net in that, right? And the ball is in Dak Prescott's court. It truly is. And I would assume he goes and pushes for that $50 million salary, uh, you know, a year salary, because after the season he had, he had an MVP caliber season. And this was all after maybe he wasn't as good, or maybe I mean, he's obviously going to be the guy for Dallas, but is he this guy that can win a Super Bowl? I mean, he had a heck of a season last year. He really did. Unfort you know, pretty, it wasn't great to start you know, with, versus Green Bay, but nobody's playing well versus Green Bay that game. So you have that, you know, and then the rest of the offseason was also kind of confusing, uh, or it just it didn't all mesh together, in my opinion. You lose a lot of your key, uh, kind of key players that used to be key players, Michael Gallup, Leighton Van Der Esch, some other guys, but those guys were not as good as they used to be. But the big one was Tyron Smith, who um, who you let go, didn't sign him, resign him, which was confusing to me. I don't know why you didn't resign him. I understand the injuries. It was going to be a lot of money, but he's one of the best left tackles when on the field. And now he goes to the Jets. He's now uh, you know, protecting Aaron Rodgers, which I thought was a great signing for the Jets, but that's the Jets. For the Cowboys... They didn't do much, you know, uh, we talked about Zeke Elliott, we talked about Eric um, Kendricks, but that was it for free agency, and then you talk about the draft, It, w it I think on face value it doesn't look too bad, but you drafted Tyler Guyton, a uh, right tackle um, from Oklahoma, I mean, you can't go wrong with Oklahoma, you know, tackles really, but he's a very raw prospect, the, the best, ath athletically probably the best guy in the draft, if not top two, top three, right, ton of potential with him. But I wouldn't have necessarily drafted him to be the starter. And now you gotta now you have to probably start him on the left side, maybe right side on uh, Terrence Steele's over there. So we'll see where that is. But just starting him year one, I think, was for me, I wouldn't have I would do I wouldn't do that. Don't get me wrong. I, I you know, I personally, if you think you were gonna draft a tackle, I think re signing Tyron Smith, letting him sit behind Tyron Smith for a year or two, I think would have been great. Um 
so that kind of adds on to that. They um, drafted uh, Cooper Beebe, which I think is a great interior guy. Definitely should be able to fit, hopefully, in that start in somewhere in that starting interior soon. Because um, I know you know Brock Hoffman, I think, is in there. Obviously, you still got Zach Martin, so he's going to be starting. So you can definitely uh, kind of move some pieces around, but I think he should definitely find his way into a starting role if uh, not sooner than definitely later in this season. And then uh, Marshawn Neeland, edge rusher, bring some edge rusher depth as you lose Dorrance Armstrong there to the to Washington. So that was kind of their free agency, their draft, their offseason, which I just, it doesn't make sense to me. And I can kind of, with, you know, with not paying Dak Pre either Dak Prescott, Micah Parsons, or C.D. Lamb at all this point, not putting too much into the free agency when they said that they were going to go all in. And then the draft on face value looks great, but I'm still somewhat iffy about it personally so that's kind of where i am on that and so let's go ahead and talk about them uh this season and what i my my concerns are but also I, what i think they could do really good at next year so let's go to that let's start with their strengths and that's the defense obviously you, you mean just list out the guys their edge rushers their pass rushers the marcus lawrence obviously micah parsons again like i mentioned you bring in the Char uh, marshawn neeland and that's pretty that's that's obviously really good and we saw that last year their interior line is definitely interesting uh osa digazua uh mozzie smith are two on paper really good guys i think osa had a really good season last year mozzie smith had a i would maybe classify it as disappointing for you know a first round pick but there was this whole thing where they the cowboys had him lose weight but now you're making him lighter even though what he was so good at was playing at his weight playing as this big strong guy and playing with that athleticism that he had for his size and now i think they're trying to get him back up to where he was and put him on that whole plan so hopefully that kind of sets that you know resets that and maybe mozzie smith can be that dominant force that the cowboys drafted him to be uh two years ago two drafts ago in the first round uh i'm gonna go skip the interior line because uh, interior linebackers because i'm a little worried about those but let's talk about the secondary that that's really good obviously uh, Deron Bland had a heck of a season, an historic season with all those pick sixes. You get Trevon Diggs back, who obviously was a really good cornerback that you just signed last year, re-signed last year to some pretty good money. Uh, you got some good safeties, Donovan Wilson, Malik Hooker, and some other solid uh, cornerbacks. Um, I like Jordan Lewis isn't bad. I liked Kalen Carson coming into the draft. I don't think that's a bad guy to have in your depth to put on the field occasionally. And now let's talk about the interior, off to, uh, interior linebackers, I should say. Uh, Damone Clark and Eric Kendricks. That's not great. Uh, I understand that you can definitely hide middle linebackers at times, but and with how good their defense is all around, it shouldn't be that big of a problem, but it's not great. Eric Kendricks is a solid veteran linebacker, and I guess he could just fill that void for now, but I think you got to be looking for better, you know, some top-tier linebackers, and I think having a pretty good linebacker always helps. So... We'll see how the linebackers play there. They drew, they did draft Maurice uh, Leafau. I think I said his name right. A little earlier than I wanted to. I, than I thought he would have gone. Than I thought he should have gone. So I, I didn't like that about their draft. And so let's shift to the offensive side where I have a little bit more questions. Uh, I assume Dak Prescott, T.D. Lamar are playing this year. I don't, you know, even if they don't get the contract as of now, I don't think they're going to hold out during the season. I just don't think that's going to happen. And so Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, they're going to do what they do. You have Brandon Cooks on that receiver uh, corpse, obvious, uh, too. So I think that's really great. The And other than that, that's just like, that's kind of where it stops for the Cowboys, in my opinion. And maybe I'm wrong. I mean, right now, Jalen Tolbert's that wide receiver three. Wasn't the biggest fan of him coming into the draft. I think he's a solid guy. And maybe I'm being too harsh on him, you know, because I don't think he's a great wide receiver three. But he probably can do the job, especially when you have C.D. Lamb and Brandon Cooks. But this offensive line and running game, just, it, it's not great. It, it really isn't. Uh, you have Ezekiel Elliott, who is now your running back one again, which don't, that's not, like, he's not going to do anything special. Rico Dowdle's a nice running back too, but, you know, again, won't do anything special. I think you really had to go in and look for another running back, and they didn't draft one which was, I think, the biggest shock of the NFL draft. I thought it was kind of written in the stars for Jonathan Brooks or one of these top running backs to be drafted by the Cowboys, and they just didn't do it. So that was interesting. And in this offensive line, I have questions about. Um, again, I, I talked about Tyler Guyton uh, there. Terrence Steele and Brock Hoffman are all slated to be starters on this uh, depth chart on our, our lads. That's not, I, I don't, 
have high praises for that. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to sit here and, you know, denounce that's not. But really, go at Tyler Guyton, because I think he's gonna be. A, I think he can be a good left tackle. But in year one, it worries me just a tad bit when this team is trying to win. Right. Obviously, you have Zach Martin. Obviously, really good guard. Tyler Smith had an incredible season last year. One of the best guards in the NFL now. So your guard position is set, but that tackle spot and the center spot. Definitely could be interesting. Now, if you put Cooper BB in the guard at the center spot, mate, wait, we're talking on that interior offensive line, but then the tackles, they also still worry me. So ultimately what I'm trying to say is Dak Prescott, CD Lamb, and Brandon Cooks are gonna do their thing. But I'm just I don't know where the production's gonna come if it's not one of those three guys. I don't. And the the worry with that is is that they can get hot early on. They could have these incredible games. But when you get to the playoffs, when you get to the end of the season, how long can that flame last? And I, and I just don't, can that last to the Super Bowl? And maybe it can. It, it Maybe it can. Maybe, maybe it can only last for a NFC East title push. You know? So that's where it comes for me offensively. And also, you're kind of hoping that Dak Prescott has a similar season to what he had last year. And I'm not trying to say last year was a fluke. But can he be that consistently? Can he be that MVP caliber quarterback consistently and I think those are the big questions when it comes to the uh offense and so if anything if the Dallas Cowboys are going to go far if they're going to get the playoffs it, it's going to be through their defense but if they want to win a Super Bowl if they want to get far in the playoffs it's their offense will have to step up and maybe I'm discounting their offense too much I mean I could be completely wrong we could look back at this in a year in nine months and I could be looking absolutely stupid but those are my concerns. Those are my questions for the Dallas Cowboys coming in. And, you know, I also didn't mention they have a new office coordinator, Brian Schottemeyer. We'll see how he plays and how he runs the calls, plays. I, I actually don't know if he's calling plays or not, but see how he runs this offense. And um, Mike Zimmer is their new defensive co uh, coordinator. They lost Dan Quinn, but Mike Zimmer should be a fine replacement. Great defensive-minded head coach. So that's my thoughts on the Dallas Cowboys. What are your thoughts on the Dallas Cowboys? Do you think they could go all the way? And um, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And peace out.